About seven o'clock on a Saturday night, we were getting ready to go out for a nice dinner and uh, we had tickets to an event. And we noticed that our cat, Bro, was foaming at the mouth. And so we looked it up on the internet and one of the things it said is that it could be poison and we thought to ourselves, the cat had been in the garage and there might have been some antifreeze on the ground from some car repairs that we were doing. We thought, uh oh, our cat might be poisoned. We have to maybe get this checked out and we can't wait. So we said, where can we take the cat? And there's only two choices that are readily available on a Saturday night. There's a pet hospital over on 4th in Vancouver, which is a long way away if you live in North Van, and there's one on Kaplan Road, which is about six minutes away. So we went there. The service was excellent. We were really impressed because there was actually more people there than we thought. There was a check-in lady, there was a, I don't, know, I don't know what a nurse is in the cat world, but there seemed like a nurse, and plus the doctor was there. And all of them seemed quite friendly, and they were interested in the cat, they came out to see it, and they participated in the activity, right? And um, there, were, there was no, um, oh, sorry, we're doing paperwork or something like that. It was, oh, you've got a cat, you're here for a reason, you know, we'll, we'd like to help you, and oh, you have, you know, they were all very, very, very friendly, and we were, so we were quite happy about that. It was really nice. The, um, it's not like some places where you've, you go and you're just another cat, as it were. They said there was nothing particularly wrong with the cat. They suspect the cat may have eaten something or licked, its, licked something. They didn't actually, they did a little bit of testing and they couldn't come up with any, um, I'll use the word, indications of poison or anything like that. And so they basically said, we, their advice was to let the cat, because uh, it seemed to have stopped foaming, to leave the cat alone and examine it and they would call us the next day, which they did. We'd recommend them because they're available all hours of the day and night, which is a rarity in, this, in today's world, because the, they're friendly and the service was quick and efficient and because we actually believe they gave a reasonable and rational diagnosis. They said if you want, you can spend, I don't know, thousands of dollars and have your cat blood tested and God knows what else, DNA tested and who knows what else, right? But they said that it's not, they don't recommend it, which was again, uh, we thought was a, a, a reasonable approach. They didn't go all out. They weren't sucking up for money as far as we could tell. Okay. So they were just trying to treat the animal. So that was nice. And the only thing that really worried us for the end of the evening is that we didn't get to go to the movie.